hope everybody's having a fantastic night or day or evening or morning whenever you might watch this video so a lot of stuff to cover um, I want to start by saying thank you to all the new subs first time here watching these videos I hope you enjoy it uh, second this movie um, though it may look like it is not Jaws 3 um, as you can see from the back there is no shark there is John Larroquette though which is always a good thing have a package from Dallas Foster that's been sitting here crying leaking fluid I don't know what's going on with this uh, I was emitting some type of odd light uh, really looking forward to see what's in it we got optic uh, we got the break information for the next free break and we get 500 subs tonight or over 500 subs so um, I have some information about that which will be shoddy at best because I don't really know what's going on with it yet I also have some vintage or a mix of vintage and other non-sport cards that I picked up like a fool I kind of I mix some of my cards that I already had with them so we'll try to figure it out together like a team as a team first off I got these cards from back in the game collecting I will promote his channel uh, every chance I get because it's fantastic uh, you buy into essentially pack breaks or set breaks as he breaks up these old sets and you're guaranteed like a Hall of Famer per pack or you just buy regular packs of cards um, so I've been buying a lot of 85 Don Russ with the hopes of getting the Clemens rookie or the pocket, which seems to be eluding me, but I did so. I got an Oral Hershiser, Robin Yant, Keith Hernandez, Tony Fernandez, I PC him, I, and Keith Hernandez, and Frank Viola. Pretty underrated. Al Oliver, another great player. Dwight Evans, super underrated. Uh, never had like the monster numbers, but long career, solid career. I think he's got a career war of like se almost 70 so um, I would put him in over someone like Baines and that, that may be because I'm from Massachusetts but this is a really cool card big red machine really dig it this is also a really cool card except for Winfield being on there and I had never seen this insert set before I really saw a lot of 85 Don Russ I was too young when it came out and this set because of the the puck and the Clemens was pretty expensive when I was collecting so cool card Tim Raines PC Tim Raines and, and Sandberg the Sandberg's in really fantastic shape and centered pretty well it's a little bit off on the left but I also got two Eric Davis out of here one which hasn't come yet and one which is a hey, Google go. stop music and one which is um, going to PSA uh, hopefully it'll get a nine at least Fergie Jenkins, Kyle Yastrzemski. I love this card. I just bought this card recently, but I don't mind having a couple. This is a gorgeous card. The colors are the, the blue and the reds, the minimal minimalist border and all that stuff is it's really nice. Really off-centered, but don't care. Very cool. Ty Cobb, Rogers Hornsby. Good old Pete Rose. Looking like a, a squire of some kind or or the guy that taste tests the king's food in case he gets poison. Steve Carlton. That may be going to somebody I know that likes Phillies. Fernando. Got the strawberry rookie, which I don't have, so I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty good shape, too. A little thing on the corner. Carlton Fisk and that. What? And Joe Morgan. So those are from back of the game collecting, but I said, really, I'll, I'm going to post a link in the description. I usually forget to do that, but I'll remember this time. Uh, super nice guy. He's got a great community. He's almost got a thousand subs now. I think he's like eight something. He should have well over a thousand. Uh, it's shocking to me that he doesn't. Um, so these dinky toys, uh, I got a lot of these this past week and a lot of them are out loose, but quite a few are in the package in pretty good shape. I don't do cars. I've never been into cars. I've never 
collected them. I never even kid never played with that box or wheel. So these are for reselling only. But if anybody out there is interested in Dinky or Corgi cars as well, um, loose and in the package, let me know. I'm not giving these away, but if you're looking for these for your collection or something, I'm the man to talk to, at least for the time being. One of the other things I got was this collection of old baseball bats. Uh, don't know much about bats, but a couple of these are softball. You have like, um, who's this one? Nelson Fox Special. There's a Pete Rose. I think they're all from the 70s. What's this? Uh, Johnny Bench bat. You have Pete Rose, Johnny Bench, Nelson Fox, Jackie Robinson, and somebody else I can't recall, but they're really neat. Uh, thinking about selling them, thinking about keeping them, kind of want to start collecting bats. Uh, problem is storage. I've never been to a batting cage in my life. It's something I really want to do, and I just realized there's one pretty much in my backyard. So I might go for that at some point soon. I have this cat here showing off his butt. I don't know why. I did not buy it this weekend, but it stays here because it's a cat showing off its butt. Uh, let's see. Dallas Foster sent me this. And I got it about a week ago. I was waiting to open it. Uh, I'm not going to be doing like a mail day, a uh, set mail day. Uh, I thought about doing one on Saturdays, like Saturday sack day, or it was called like what's in his sack. But I don't know if people would like that. And I just don't want to do mail day. And I was talking with some other people earlier about the same thing. And uh, I, think, I think it's nice to trade with people and to pay things forward and all that stuff. But it does, it can become um, chaotic and toxic and unhealthy. And that's not good for anybody. And it can cause resentment even. It's also not good, but it's all for fun. And I like to, I look at it as, as trading essentially because in my area, we just, it, it's very limited. I have to go online. I am having a, I'm not too smart. So I hope everybody's weekend was great, or if you're not watching this on the weekend, that your week has been going great. Mine was pretty good. I slept a lot, but I think I needed it. The weather's been nice, but it's so humid. There we go. So Dallas, I'm very excited to see what's in here. I thank you deeply for sending me a package of anything. It could be full of empty Kool-Aid packets, and I'd still be, I'd be digging that. Oh boy, right off the bat, my heart is, it's racing. Oh my God, are you serious? Dude. Hold on, I gotta know. My heart is legit starting to to race. Dave, hope you enjoy the cards I sent. The set is not complete, then think it's missing, f I think that's 14 cards, but I heard you the other night talking about how cool it was. I enjoy your videos, chatting with you, and just want to show my appreciation for what you do in the community. Thanks, Dallas Foster. P.S. I know the Euclid is in the Yankees Union, but Euclid is nonetheless. Uh, I don't, I don't, I reject the idea that he has ever played with a Yankees uh, jersey on. Um, just like I do with most things I don't like, I pretend it doesn't exist. And I let it bite me in the butt later on in life. So, it doesn't matter. So I, the other night I was talking about a set of cards that I wanted to get a box of. I made, oh my God, these are so cool. Uh, this is 97 Flare Metal Universe. These things are bonkers. Um, Unreal, Dallas. Thank you so much. They are the most 90 cards, 90s cards in existence. So let's let's put the stack here. 
and let's start off with this pack because I see I, it's meaty, it's thick with Sabo. I always start with Sabo, it's like always bet on black, I always start with Sabo. So you've got the classic Diamond Kings, the Bobby Bow with him looking like, please get this four eyed freak away from me. Got a Clemens, 90 Flare, Euclid. It's 2004 tops or the 2000 or oh, 2007. Got Dustin Bedroy Gypsy Queen. Oh, a Dustin Bedroy Relic, man. That's awesome. Height 5'9. I don't believe it. I'm 5'9. I don't think he is. Jackie Bradley Jr. Jackie Bradley Jr. JBJ. Jackie Bradley Jr. Got a Mookie. Please stay Mookie. Ben I love this. I love that 18 optic. Uh, Donruss design. I love the uh, 1984 Donruss design. Could be the best design of the 80s. Got the Andrew Benintendi Sepia. Andrew Benintendi Gypsy Queen. Xander Bowman. Another Xander. Just killing it. Devers is also killing it. Chris Sale. Very good on the strikeout front. Not so great on the wins at ERA front. J.D. Martinez, Rick Porcello, and we got a World Series champ heritage card. Man, that stack right there is, an, is enough. That Dustin Pedroia relic, fantastic. Slippery. Second sight with uh, Bronson, I don't know how you say his last name, Pincho, John Larroquette. Haven't seen this movie in years. This is a streaming, screaming, sorry, screaming, Oh my goodness. It is not a streaming copy. Neither is it a screaming copy. It is a screening copy. So we have a Raphael Devers rookie, gold cup, sweet card. I think everybody should be stocking up on Devers. If he continues even 70% of what he's doing now for the next however many years, he's going to be just an absolute monster. Oh, this is, dude, that is awesome. Out of 42, Kevin Euclid. He'll always be a Red Sox. Man, that is great. So this is the Signature Series 2018. Is this, yes, oh, this is the retired, right? I like that set. I thought there was some really cool stuff that came out. That is so awesome. I can't wait till I get uh, a thing set up in the new room and have to be able to display all these cool cards. Uh, signature's kind of like mine. So what else? You get this. Oh, so this is an insert from the Metal Series. Blast Furnace. What? What does that even mean? I don't. I have no idea. It's a cool insert. Well, here's another one. Metal Ears. Magnetic field. I get that. And I get that. I guess I guess the blast furnace thing, like power, but another magnetic field. Alex Rodriguez. We got a magnetic field. Matt Williams. These are really cool. What is this? Platinum portraits. You'll go blind looking at this. Jermaine Dye Platinum Portraits. Mining for Gold. Kevin Brown, Mining for Gold. Unreal. Hey, this is a really cool one. Omar Garcia Power, Mining for Gold. I still might buy a box of these two. Oh, that's a nice one. Vlad Guerrero, Mining for Gold. I got his um, minor league card the other night. I'm pretty excited for it. And Wilton Guerrero, mine for gold. So these are inserts for player metal. And if anybody hasn't seen these lights, they are the most 90s set of cards ever. Uh, they made, actually, do I have it right next to me? I thought I did. Hold on one sec. Marvel cards, 
quite a few of them in some uncut sheets, but I thought they were near me. All right, so we got a Roberto Alomar, Brady Anderson with some type of device um, on his back, like, uh, uh, what was that movie? Not the District 9 guy did it, Matt Damon. Rocky Coppinger with a spider. I hope these come through okay. The spider hanging off his... You know what, let me uh, stop this and readjust so you can see better. There we go. Chris Hoyles. That's pretty cool. Got like a meteor shower. Eddie Murray. What the hell is going on in there? What is that? So the backs of them pretty, you know, look like a TV show, like a, like a reboot or something from 1997. I don't know what's going on in the back of Eddie Murray's card. Uh, Mike Messina, I guess he, oh, he's throwing rockets. Palmero shooting for the moon. Cal Ripken Jr. with a giant claw from some type of demon uh, attacking Cal, poor Cal Ripken Jr. I don't know why, but there is. You got BJ Strzok in the in an atom or a neutron symbol. Brant Brown. I guess he's mining for gold. Brian McRae, uh, about to die from a tidal wave, I guess. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Navarro, uh, <laughs> parachuting looks like multiple people with parachutes. I see green, so I'm assuming this is a military operation. Uh, they send in Jamie Navarro, with a uh, U.S. government secret weapon the war on terror and they just drop him out there and let him throw throw baseballs. I don't even think he has a ball in his hand. Uh, a Murray, a Murray Telemaco, uh, I guess it's like a whirlwind or something. Stephen Trichel, Snow, Darren Bragg, the best. You know, I, I'm surprised that the art on these are, is so poor, and I guess that's part of what, you know, the charm is, but his bat's on fire. We've got a Conseco for the Red Sox uh, a, with an apparatus on his back, like a jet pack, but it's got, like, old-timey pipes, or an, it's got an engine, like an exhaust system. I don't know. Uh, that same thing that attacked Cal Ripken is now starting to consume Nomar Garcia Parra. That is a look of absolute terror as it should be when you get attacked by giant demons. Luckily, Tom Gordon is here throwing balls in a post-apocalyptic city. Uh, I guess this is the future after that giant demon killed everyone. Tim Nearing, uh, I guess in like some future world. Uh, in the real future, he's uh, higher up in the, high up in the Yankees organization. Uh, Mike Stanley. I don't know what that is. A portal of some kind. John Valentin uh, in hell. <sighs> oh boy. We got Mo Vaughn. Now, look, we've had discussions about Mo Vaughn being thick, okay? We've had very frank, open, honest discussions about his thickness and how thick his legs are, how thick my legs are, and how puny Chet Lemon's legs are. Uh, my, my, how I see this is that this set takes place in the future, in, or in another universe, where his leg becomes so thick he can no longer walk without crushing the earth ben beneath him, and causing tidal waves and earthquakes and all types of crazy stuff. So they had to replace his power leg, which is his right right leg, with it uh, something a little bit more, um, a little bit less destructive. That's what I think. 
Either that or he had diabetes. One or the other. Jermaine Dye. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, where he is. Tom Glavin is in a swamp. Uh, I guess it may be Atlanta. Oh, no. Marquise Grissom. I was getting attacked by some demon. It looks like zombies are coming up, <laughs> ripping them apart. Uh, Andrew Jones. Through space. We've got a Chipper Jones. I don't know what is what's going on. Ryan Klesko. Um, knocked over. Is that a bee's nest? Don't know. Fred McGriff. That looks like... I don't know what that is. Oh, binary code. He's in a computer. And a John Smoltz. Uh, no idea. Might do a little bit of these and save some for each, you know, another video because there's a lot and these are fun. Garrett Innocent is on fire, um, unfortunately. But, you know, it's known to happen with Garrett Innocent. He, every once in a while, he just catches on fire. George Arias, I don't know what that is. It looks like a giant spider bug or a mother brain type creature shooting lasers at him. I believe he's cut in half. Uh, another Gary DeSarcina. Look at that. Jim, Ed Jim Edmonds. He's a falconer. Had no idea. I don't know. I guess that falcon's like shooting shooting something at him. Darren Erstrad is... I don't know. Chuck Finley is being crushed by some type of mechanical device and Troy Percival is a slave of some kind to an alien race now. Tim Salmon looks like he's on fire as Brett Boone is. Uh, Jeff Brantley uh, has been modified a, a bit. He has now one, two, three. He's got five arms uh, I guess that's an arm hand there. Uh, Eric Davis got that same jetpack that uh, Jose Canseco had. Larkin is mining gold in the pits of hell because there is a demon foot. There is a demon afoot. Hal Morris is vomiting up um, what looks like some type of alien slime uh, that is also killing him, wrapping him up at the same time. Mark Portugal, uh, don't know, he's someplace, Reggie Sanders attacked, John Smiley is the size of a building, Wilson Alvarez uh, has been replaced, his arms, James Baldwin, I don't think he's fighting against the creature, I think he's fighting for the creature, Albert Bell. He just wants to paint. He just really likes Jackson Pollock. He wants to make some art. After he lost the MVP in 1995, his psychologist said, Listen, man, listen, Albert, smashing radios and beating women, not good. Try painting. So, this is what he gets. Mike Cameron, I don't, I don't know what that is. Looks like Christmas ribbon candy. Ray Durham, uh, not sure. Alex Fernandez has new sight, new vision. Roberto Hernandez is getting wrapped up in a something other than Tony Phillips being attacked again. These cards are unbelievable. Uh, they're insane. They're probably the most insane baseball cards as far as I'm ever made, as far as I'm concerned. Um, whoever did the art design uh, needs to either uh, win a, an award, uh, some type of lifetime achievement award, a key to the city, a key to my house, or he needs to be hung, drawn, and quartered in the streets. You choose your science fiction fantasy. We'll do a couple more. These are fun. Big Frank looks like he's a uh, big hurt, is just mowing down creatures. And he's the dude that you want to do that because he is big. Rob Ventura. I, I bet he's a bad guy. He's fighting for them. 
Jeff Cirillo, underwater. Jeff D'Amico, got those rockets. So they do repeat. John Jaha, we've seen these on Scott Carl. Ben McDonald. Mark Newfield. Jose Valentin, and my God, I am sorry that you have to go through this. Dante Bichette. His wife is beautiful. I don't know how he scored that because he looks like an absolute ogre. And his son is a killer ball player. So it looks like there's a guy on a throne back there of some kind. Or or a jet, like a surfboard, like a s s cosmic surfboard. Not like a silk, I don't know. No idea. Ellis Burks. Oh man, poor Vinny Castilla. <sighs> Destroyed. Annihilated. Rest in peace. Andres Galarraga. Kevin Ritz. Tense. Kevin Ritz. Larry Walker. Just chugging. Just making it through the ocean. Walt Weiss. Is he in the ocean? Or is he on top of it? Is he in space? I see, like, jets. He's, he's riding a jet like Dr. Strangelove. Weird. Jamie Wright, got some Death Star type or some uh, thermo detonators surrounding him. Eric Young, another secret weapon of the United States government. Julio Franco, juiced up Julio Franco. Oral, there's my buddy Oral. Kenny Lofton, running through the cosmos like a herald of Galactus. Jack McDowell. I don't know what this thing is. I don't know what this thing is. Jose Mesa. Charles Nagy. Jim Tomey. I guess he's breaking something or he's falling through something. That's a pretty cool one. Omar Vizquel. Actually, that, that's a kind of a neat design. Matt Williams. Kevin Apier. Oh, it's like an Indiana Jones thing. Shooting like darts they I mean he's dead they penetrated his flesh and they come out the other side uh, Johnny Damon what is going on here I guess he's got a helmet on he's through space Chili Davis and Tom Goodwin sick I'm not gonna go through the rest of these because there's a lot and uh, this will be a long long video but these are amazing Dallas everything you sent me was amazing above and beyond and uh, I will talk to you soon about all this because this was really cool and this set is really awesome maybe this would be a good set maybe a little bit later if I start doing a little bit more expensive breaks uh, for the free breaks that people would be interested in getting getting in on so uh, let's do the let's do the optic all right went to get the heritage did not have it um, they had a couple of the mega boxes of optic, but I didn't feel like spending much. You know, the generous Cody Martin bought me a spot in the Mud Dog or Mike Kel Kelly Cards breaks, uh, which was very kind of him. Did not have to do that. But I really like this product. Really thinking about buying a case of it and just sitting on it because there's a lot of great stuff in here. So we'll do this uh, bonus pack last. Let's a second sight. Um, I have not seen this for a very long time. I say, well, I, usually I like to go on the back and kind of like go through it and remind myself or learn something, but uh, I have no idea. Uh, you know, John Larroquette and Bronson Pinchow are in it, and he's got he's a psychic, and he that's all I can remember. Or is he an alien? That's it. Uh, John Larroquette, Night Court fame. Always dug him. Did he ever show to the John Larroquette show? He also did uh, the narration, the intro to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Got a Walker Bueller. Oh, wait. Got a Christian Stewart rookie, rated rookie right off the bat. It's pretty cool. It's covered in stuff. But it is a Christian Stewart rookie. 
and it is autographed. I never get lucky in uh, retail blasters, so that's kind of neat. I'm happy. Oh my God, Google, I don't like you. Got a Mike Trout, Peak Performers. Uh, if you took out Mike Tri Trout in the Peak Performers and you put in like a Bush or a Milwaukee's Best and it would hung it on the wall, it would make for a really great uh, beer ad. Jose Barrios. Wish you could get hot blasters too. Or just, uh, packs. Kristen Yelich, Joey Votto, got an Otani Mythical, and a Framber Valdez. A Framber Valdez. Nope. Oh. Yikes. Cody Bellinger. Joey, Chris Bryant, and a Bryce Harper All-Stars. I mean, by the time this week's over, I'm going to have just about, I feel like I'm going to have a complete set and then some of Optic. Robinson Cano, Salvador Perez, Freddie Friedman, um, Prism, I don't know if that's what the odds are on those, Michael Perez. Live stream this weekend was really fun. I enjoyed hanging out with a bunch of people. Uh, hopefully do another stream. I will do another stream at some point this week. I'm just not sure which day. Uh, one a week is kind of what I would like to do. You know, we're Syndergaard, out of pools. We've got an uh, Illusions, Corey Seager, and a Matt Chapman Diamond King. So last pack, and then we have the bonus pack with three cards in it. got a Francisco Lindor, Freddie Freeman, Esteban Floreal, and a Darwinson Hernandez. And our bonus pack. Uh, packs are actually really easy to open, which is nice. So we've got Mike fulton which looks like a two. Brandon Crawford, please be somebody good, and a Keston Yura, rated rookie. So not bad. The Christian Stewart, rated rookie, auto. I dig that. Um, not too up and up on his career. I don't know what is Stewart flakes all over. We were signing it. Need some smudge. Also got a really smudge signature. Do need some cocoa butter. I, I don't know why Google responded to that. So, um, before I move on to anything else, uh, this is the information for the free break. It's going to be, you have a choice. So, in order to be eligible, you can't have been one of the people from last week. So, that was, uh, I can't, Clayton. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look after, I, I can't remember. Johnny. Waldeck, Austin, Clayton, and or Kevin, and Dan. I think that was it. Regardless, um, you can't have won the prior week. So, if you want to be part of it, you want an opportunity to be in it, I use the randomizer. Just leave a comment below and say which you'd rather have, 91 Studio or, we'll do three. 91 Studio, 90 Tops, or 88 score, or sorry, 91 studio, 90 tops, 88 tops, 88 tops, 88 tops, 90 tops, or 91 studio. So pick one of those, and whichever one you like, and say free, leave whatever comment you are going to like, if you are going to leave one, uh, then just write free break, and then which one of those three you prefer. And in a week, I will random, um, I will tally it all up to see which got chosen, and then I will um, randomly pick four commenters, and that's it. And I'll open the cards, and each person gets a stack, and then I get your address, and I send them to you, and they're yours. Now that we're dealing with junk wax, I know a lot of you guys have them, so if you don't collect junk wax cards, error cards, if you already have them, if you don't collect Football, I mean, sorry, if you don't collect baseball, if you're a football, hockey, or whatever guy, 
um, let me know and I will pass them off to somebody else. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the information for the free break. Uh, so these vintage cards, I did not want this to be a long video, 20 minutes in. So I, I showed some before. I put some in penny sleeves. You know, I don't know hockey. And I don't think there's anything like too crazy in here. Uh, Alice Accord gave Babich, I believe I've heard that name before. Larry Robinson, you got this Marcel Dion, LA Kings, Brad Park, Steve Grogan, you know that name, Lanny McDonald, and oh, got a Daryl Sittler and a, jeez, uh, oh, Dave Andrichuk. Now, some of my cards are mixed in because I'm a But I'm just gonna grab some of these. Maybe I'll do half of this, and, uh, and then I'll do the other half of these metal cards in the next video. Or something else I was gonna do in the next video as well. Um, I think I have some mail coming tomorrow, so maybe those I'll do those too. Now I already can see this era stuff. I know a lot of it's junk, but Mike Ricci, uh, 50 goal score. I don't know. Pat Falloon. Falloon. I don't know what this is, Michael Gallup, Baker Mayfield, so it's Mario Lemieux. Looks like 1988 tops. Um, Dirk Nowitzki. I know nothing about basketball. Nothing. Few people. Eric Lindros. Eric Lindros. See, is, is he good? I know he was a big name back in the day. Brett Hall, or Brett Hall. Brett Hall, uh, Mario Lemieux, Scotty Pippen, Aaron Rodgers, Wayne Gretzky, know that man, Wayne Gretzky, what is this, Chris Draper, Stephen Rice, and Eric Lindros, Captains, Captains, know what this is, Candidates, Captains, more Eric Lindros, Cam Neely, Mario Lemieux, Neely, Wayne Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky. All right, what else we have here? Brett Hull, Mario Lemieux, Bo Jackson, that is coming out. I'm going to go into my PC. Joe Montana, Russell Wilson, Andrew Luck, Dak Prescott. Ed Belfour, member's choice. Ryan Nassib. I kind of want to start buying some other sports or doing some other sports breaks on here. I just don't know who anybody is except for, you know, old, tiny, plastic players. Yager. I don't want to look like... I already look like a fool pronouncing, like, people I do know their name. Martin St. Luke. Martin St. Louis Jonathan Droven Peyton Manning uh, Peyton Manning I know who those will go to Mike Ricci Wes Welker what is this a car sticker Tom Brady Phil Simms Brett Favre Jerry Rice Jerry Bradshaw Frankowski Roethlisberger and a Gretzky. So, sorry if this is boring. I just don't. I don't know these guys. I can't really. I mean, I do, but I very little. I mean, I remember the the what was a cartoon back in the eighties or nineties. Uh, it was like Bo Jackson, Gretzky, and Michael Jordan, Steve Young, Dan Marino, Deion Sanders, Jeff George. So. The uh, Jerry Donardo, Marshawn Lynch, somebody like that too. Wes Welker, Wes Welker, Eli Manning, Randy Moss. I was just thinking of Wes Welker, and I was thinking of the um, Barstool Sports Peach Reviews, and how unbelievably hungry I am right now because I Wes Welker did one of the, the reviews, and uh, 
Luckily, I have pizza from the other night in the fridge, so I'm going to eat that. Marshall Lynch is for the Canes. Bo Jackson is for me. I guess it's Jerry Rice. Yeah. Wes Welker. In the Florida. On Miami Marlins. Junior Seau. You know, it's weird because I've actually watched a lot of documentaries on football, and I have a lot of friends who are just crazy. Uh, one of my closest friends forever is a Steelers fan, and he's a maniac about it to the point where it's caused fights between us and other people. Um, too too much, too into it. Um, but he would I'd go, you know, when we were teenagers, we'd be hanging out and be like, hey, let me show you this 50 greatest hits of the, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's a Dick Knight train lane. You see it? See how hard he is? And I did like that stuff. And uh, when I was a kid, I would watch before school, I would watch, I don't remember if it was ESPN or not, but um, the NFL film stuff. Because NFL films are legit amazing. Um, the Sable, Father and Son, I think they both passed away, but like the Raiders, that one, uh, uh, the Autumn Winds Raider, they just were so epic and didn't, uh, I didn't care about football, but those I could watch. I could watch them right now. I watched the uh, uh, Autumn Wind is a Raider one the other day. It's f so good. Wayne Gretzky, if I was going to be a football guy, it would be a Raider. I'd be a Raider guy. We need Testa Verde, Ozzie Newsome, Jerry Rice, Rob Moore, Rob Moore, Barry Sanders, um, Marquis Colson. Russell Wilson, Jerry Rice. So, you know, names in there for sure, but I don't know if any of those are really worth anything. Imagine not much. Joe Sekic, Mel Romeo. I remember her. Neon, Mel Romeo. Um, I have a bunch of her cards, actually. Did not do so well. I think, didn't she like let up three goals? Mike Singletary. Patrick Kane, Deion Sanders, Jerry Rice, Joe Montana, Troy Aikman, Dan Marino. Uh, it's snowing! Jerry Rice, Dan Marino, John Elway, Jordan Matthews, Kelvin Benjamin, Adrian Peterson. All right, now we're getting to the real, I don't know, Roger Mason, never heard of him. Taco, Taco Charlton, of course. Corey Clement, Clement, Mike Williams, Derek Barnett, um, John Ross, Mike Williams, Hayden Hurst, Equianimus Brown, St. Brown, Jones, Alonzo Mourning, Top Prospects, Joe Thornton, I know Joe Thornton, Travis Sanheim, I feel like hockey's getting popular. Like, um, I was talking to somebody on Saturday about sports, who's a guy that's not into any sports at all, but we were talking about Mike Trout. I was trying to explain to him how great Mike Trout is, and, and um, we were talking about hockey and how he, his dad loves the Bruins and how, you know, growing up, he could almost be getting into hockey but never could. He liked it because it was gritty, and, and I understand that, but uh, for me it was like you had to be a hockey Everybody I knew that loved hockey was a hockey family. Like, they just seemed a little different. Not a bad way or good way. They just seemed a little bit different. And um, I got into a fight with a kid in sixth grade. And he tried to pull, he was a hockey player. And he tried to pull his a shirt over my head and do that crap with me. Um, but they were just, it was just different. I, I couldn't, didn't relate to it. Logan Brown. Curtis McDermott. He's in basketball, I couldn't relate because I'm not, not a big guy in football. I felt like I was too small for football, so baseball was the sport that Laurie Korpakowski, Jordan Everell, Eric Goodbrinson, Tanner Pearson. What year are these? These look pretty new. This is 2014. Tanner Pearson, Sean Monahan, Brandon Dubinsky. Sutter, Damon Bruner, Mike Fisher, Kyle Turris, Mike Bornaball, Cal Clutterbuck, Andre, Andre Palat. Yeah. We have a Hendrik Zetterberg.
Gabor Salming, I guess. Brad Marchand. We have a Kevin Garnett draft pick. I know this dude, Michael Jordan. Guys, not a nice man. I've read a lot of stories about him. I've seen videos. I can't remember who that rapper was talking about him and just how awful he was to him and other people as well. Kenny Anderson, Kobe Bryant, Andre Drummond rookie, Derek Rose, Jared Bullinger, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin. I know who Blake Griffin is. DJ Moore. Uh... I think tomorrow, or the next, I'm gonna buy a blaster box later this week and, or something like that, and do a really quick video, like a five minute video or something. Just open the box and go through the cards and shut it down and see how that does versus these videos that I usually do. I have a very difficult time making short videos. I feel like I'm not doing anything. I'm not providing anything different by doing it. Um, most of you guys have these cards, like, uh, especially when I'm doing a blast box where my chances of getting hits pretty low. So I'm just kind of running through base, and uh, I feel like I'm just not doing it that way. I'm not offering anything. There's nothing wrong with doing it that way. Um, for, for those who do, it's it's fine, and I I just don't. I just like to see how it affects views, because like I'm already at 31 minutes, and I would go for an hour and a half, two hours, if I if I could, and if I, people would watch it, but, um, I don't know, Eric Lindros, Eric Lindros, Mark Messier, Brett Hall, what was I reading about? I've been reading these Fangorias still. Uh, I was reading about more Creature from Black, actually, uh, Creature from Black Lagoon, I'll go through these slowly, I don't have to read them, names off. Um, the, there was a woman who was actually the one who, and I had no idea, because I had just read all this stuff about Creature, and the guys that put the suit together and all this stuff. And I just found out the other day that it was really a, a woman uh, named something, M Vincent Patrick or something like that. She designed and made the suit and was fired and they took all the credit for her work, uh, which is really terrible. Um, so just recently she's getting the credit she deserves for, for making the suit. And, uh, I had just read about the making of the suit by the guys who did it, and obviously there was no mention of her. So I assumed, well, maybe she just kind of did the design or something. But she actually, uh, I don't know, I, 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 that, that was a fake stutter. I was wondering. Um, she, she legit, like that was her costume. Nicholas Lidstrom. What was a movie I was trying to watch today? I, I just couldn't find a copy of it. it was, Curse of the Demon, 1957, uh, which is supposed to be really good um, and supposed to be pretty ahead of its time as far as the the pace of the story and and what they do with usually there there was no monster there was a monster in it but it was you know in the shadows it was suspenseful and at the time most sci-fi and horror was pretty in your face with stupid costumes and. Um, what happened was the studio head got a hold of the film. They, all these guys were so proud of it, so so proud. And the studio head got a hold of it and took the they put this stupid fire monster in like the intro and the uh, the last few minutes of the movie, and essentially ruined the movie. So when people reviewed it, all they talk about is how stupid this monster was. Out of space there. How stupid this monster was, and you know these guys were talking about watching it, the guys that put it together, how proud they were. And when they saw it, they were just so sick to their stomach about how badly the studio screwed it up. But Curse of the Demon, 1957. Zygmunt Palfi. Glenn Murray. Okay, that's not old. 2010. P.K. Subban. Subban. Vladimir Kost Kostinov. Vladimir Krutov. Mike Modano, Wayne Gretzky, Eric Lindros, Eric Lindros, Eric Lindros, Eric Lindros. So Alex Overchin, Overchin, Overchin. Ugh. See, that's what I'm saying. I can't say these names. David Pastrnak sounds like pastrami. I'd kill for a pastrami sandwich right now. Oh, 
Cat's Deli in New York, Collector Hall. You must know that. Thought about you can order from Cat's Deli in New York. You can have it overnighted, but it's like super expensive. You can have an overnight pastrami. We don't have a lot of good delis around here. I have to go to like Natick area, Canton, uh, to even get close or to right to the city. Tuka Rask, I know him. Nicholas Lindstrom, Backstrom, Jared Stoll, Mike Smith, Alex Kovalev, Mike Modano. What are these? These are cool. It's McDonald's, All Star, something rather. I can't read it. That's neat. I like those. Uh, there's a lot of cards here. I'm not going to go through them all tonight, or it's going to be a super long video. So I'll break it up into two. And I have more in the other room as well. Oh, that's sweet. I'll keep this. Bo Jackson. Um, would anybody be interested in like a 90 score football box break? Um, if you are, leave a comment if you want to be part of that. Cause maybe I'll do one that as well. Maybe I'll do two breaks. Maybe I'll do whatever you guys choose for the baseball and then I'll do a football one. Ricky Sanders, Bobby Orr. These are new. I don't know those are Carson Wentz. Those might, I don't think they're mine. Carson Wentz, Aaron Rodgers, Rob Gronkowski. Hope he goes to the WWE. Randall Cunningham. Is she still alive? Jerome Bettis. Des Bryant. Franchise Mike Madonna. Phil Sims. That's a cool picture. Ronnie Hampton. I remember having a lot of these when I was younger. 90 score. Or is it 89 score? 90 score from my cousin. And I always have loved this design. I think maybe I'll get a box of those. So if anybody wants to... Uh, partake in a box with me for uh, I'll take a stack and kind of stack or split it Eli Manning Wes Welker Des Bryant Eli Manning Ooh, I I Eli I Eli Man 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 Wes Welker Gail Sears these are my cards I think maybe they're not I don't know they can't be I bought, well, they're not mine. I bought this set for our box for somebody who's no longer with us. And I, these couldn't be because they were all together in another thing. Bob Gronkowski, Barry Sanders, Tom Gugliotta, Kobe Bryant. That's not a rookie, is it? No. Hot Prospects, Alan Iverson. Brent Price, Isaiah Thomas. Travis Ford, Glenn Frame, David's Best. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm out of camera a little bit here. Steve Nash, Danny Ainge, Dirk Nowitzki. I know that Dan Hardock Cards likes uh, jazz, so I'm just going to put some jazz stuff aside for him. There's also something that I'm buying him, which I think he'll enjoy. Hopefully, we can split it, maybe. I mean, you can just have it, but... Um, it's not bench warmers, but it's something like bench warmers. I think it's a little bit cooler. Dave Robson, Hakeem Watt, that's kind of cool. Michael, no, that's not Michael Dent, it's Rodman with some, that's Rodman juice. Don't believe that. Or maybe you should. James Harden, star rookie. Mitch Richmond, Patrick Ewing, Alonzo Mourning, 92 draft pick. Um... I just think the cards would be better suited for your channel than mine because your channel is hard R after all. Michael Jordan, Kenny Anderson. I like these cards. Feels like a 90s, like Sunday morning. Like you'd have like that one cool host and I'd have all these kids sitting around and like mini bleachers and they'd be, they'd be rapping about life and, you know, school and girls and boys and bullies and. Like kids rap. We talk about problems that teens today or kids today face, and it would have a set, whole set design would look like this. What is wrong with me? Um, Frank Johnson. He kind of looks a little rough. Scotty Pippen, Grant Hill, Tim Duncan, and Scotty Pippen. I'll do one more stack because I'm having fun.
if you're new to the channel, I think there's like 30, almost 40 subscribers tonight, over 40. No, like 36 new subscribers. Um, my videos tend to be a little bit on the longer side. Um, if you like that, uh, good. I'm glad you like that. If you do, if you don't, I, I'm sorry. Steve Young, Troy Aikman, Steve Young. Who is this? Mike Wallace, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning. I might keep the Brady stuff, Tom Brady, Brett Favre, Richter, just because. Um, no people that would like it. Mike Richter, Wayne Gretzky, Olaf Kolzig, Kolzig, Jeremy Roenick, Mike Madonna, Jeremy Roenick, Eric Windows, Mike Richter, Bob uh, Martin Brodeur, Jeremy Roenick, Jeremy Roenick. Yago Wayne Gretzky, Eric Lindros. That's a cool. I remember this card at the store. I remember this being, I think, an expensive card at one point. Mike Modano, Fist of the North Stars. Mike Mark Messier, Mark Ricci, Mario Mew, Lady Bing trophy. I am Mr. Lady Bing. Sounds like a 30s or 40s pulp detective movie. The mysterious m murders of Lady Bing. Eric Lindos, Eric Lindros, Eric Lindros. Got a Valeri Zalpukin. Zalp, I don't know what is Eric Lindros. Alexander Mogenly, I do know that name. Nathan Lafayette. Martin Genron. Alexi Hovalev. Brad Brown. Radm Bissonek or Bikinek, Timu Selain. And it's windy out here. Fall's coming. Oh, I can't wait. Steve King. Hang. I love the heat of the summer. David Sacco. Olav Verdovsky. I love training in the heat of summer. Grappling, fighting, just that intensity. You're slipping all over the place and everybody's tired and it's just fun. But uh, the creepiness of the falls in uh, Massachusetts is. Second to none. Eric Lindros, Mike Ricci. Is it Ricci? Ricci. I used to love Christina Ricci. I still do. Not as much with Winona Ryder. I know everybody's got their their favorite. I think Winona is mine. Heart Trophy of Mario Mew. Central Red Army. Yuri Kamilov. Give him a helicopter ride. Mario Mew. I shouldn't have said that. Kelvin Benjamin. I know that guy. Did he get in trouble? So I got a big stack here. Oh wait, did I do these? Yeah, I already did these, but I still have a uh, half a box of this. And I got a binder of some pretty old stuff in there, as well as another box. So I'll probably do that later this week, just so I don't make this video too long. We're already like 40 minutes. And uh, I, I do want to go over these amazing flare metal cards again. These are going to go into a, I don't usually binder cards. These are going to go into a binder. Um, if there's like 14 cards missing. I'll, I'll, I'll probably try to fill that in and get all the inserts. Um, man, Dallas, you sent me some really great stuff, man. Very, very appreciated. And I will... I will talk to you soon in the Discord. Um... There is a Discord server called Sabo Nation, if anybody's interested. Uh, it's fun. The only thing I think I, I ask, and I think everybody else there, including the uh, Lord and King, uh, Chris Sabo's glasses, would just make it a chill place. Um, don't ask for things. Just hang out. Have fun. Uh, ignore me. That's probably a, a good thing do because you just should so what I say for the free breaks so it was 91 studio 90 tops and 88 tops right so whichever one you want leave a regular comment and then underneath it write free break and then pick which one you want now 500 subs um, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I have some ideas and I don't want to say it now because I don't want people to be like well you said this and you didn't do it 
and, and that's kind of lame to do that. I don't, I don't I want to be able to follow through. There's been a couple of things I've said that I've not been able to follow through with, and it bothers me because, you know, I don't like to, to do that. Uh, hopefully these things will. Like for Saturday night, I was planning on doing the video games with my friend, but uh, he did come by and it was like nine o'clock and I ended up falling asleep. Uh, so it will happen. 500 subs, not sure. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do three winners, or five winners, probably gonna do five winners of various, uh, you know, prize sizes. The first one will be, if it is kind of what I'm thinking, I think it's gonna be a pretty, pretty fun thing. Uh, maybe similar to what Hard Art Cards did with his I think 200th sub where he did like a pack of tops from 80 to 90 or 80 to 89 all through the 80s. So something along those lines possibly. Um, the, I know a couple cards that I'm going to be giving away which are pretty cool, pretty nice. Uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's long. The Optic got the Christian Stewart. Got this wonderful package from Dallas Foster. The mid flare metal stuff is amazing. About the Kevin Euclid, this everything, the Sabos, the Pedroy, the Red Sox, man, you went above and beyond. Very generous, uh, very kind, and I will put you guys need to go to his channel and subscribe to him, give him some love. Um, back in the game, you gotta check him out. Um, Kelly's cards. I don't know if you filled your optic break. This dude has got crazy hands. They're on fire. He's pulling, you know, cosmic fire, the last break he did. So I know he's doing an optic half a case break coming up. So I think he had two spots left. So if anybody's interested in that, I think it's Thursday, and I'll have the description in uh, the link in the description. And that's it. One more thing, actually. If you have any suggestions for this channel, what you'd like to see, what you'd like to talk about, discuss, or have me talk about, like I just... I don't want to just go through cards. Um, this is just, this is paper, and I know they're cool, and they're cool to get good hits. I love it, but I want this to be a delivery system for other things. Um, so any suggestions, you know, let me hear it, because I want to make this good for you guys. So, hope you have a great night, and remember, free break, 91 studio, 90 tops, 88 tops, along with your other comment. You gotta like the video too, because it's, it's like the unwritten rule of contest. You gotta like, and you gotta be a subscriber too, which you probably are, so. All right, thank you for watching. Have a good night, good day, good afternoon, good evening.